Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is the advanced configuration features that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So this advanced configuration feature that we have in the software basically allows us to save in a file some of the values of the variables that we have in the PLC save it in a file and then what we can do is to modify or leave it as it and then upload that information again into the controller so if we go here basically once we are connected with the controller the controller must be in a stop in order to perform this otherwise you receive this message okay so i recommend you to have it in stop so um, once the PLC is installed, let me just put the pen over here. Once the PLC is installed, you can see this message on the bottom. You need to go online and select the advanced configuration that you have here on the bottom. Let me just change the view to this, to the advanced configuration. And then you have two options, restore data. So basically you have the PLC and you're going to send the new file and the other one say data to csv so we have the pc over here and say the data so basically is that what we need to do okay so once you select the save data file you should be able to see all the variables that you have the pous and everything from the plc side okay you can select the values that you want so grab the gbl or the values that you want and press this one to move to the other side of the screen all those variables selected in that uh, side of the screen will allow you to save the file as CSV. Okay. Once you have this CSV file, okay, you can open it using a text file or notepad. And here you should be able to see this information. The name of the variables that you have, and then you have the value. This is the actual value. So what we can do is to modify that, okay, and then send the new uh, values into the controller okay that would be the idea uh, so once you click on this restore select the file you should be able to see this message over here okay just to send the new information okay this message over here so what we're going to do basically is to open one of the project connect to the plc online save the files and see what we can do okay so let's open the application so i have this application over here i don't know why i have this data but let's add the new ones okay so um, w config config um, 01 okay word and i'm going to add a real of config uh our uh pepito real okay so i have created these two variables over here so what we can do now is to use some of them in this uh structure that is been using just to put something gbl dot um da, 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 new bar i don't know it has already in this one i don't know what i've been doing before so uh let's try to move this bar 01 and let me just check the format of this new bar is byte word uh, int okay just to call the gbl in here okay so i got this program now what we're going to do is to send the data to the controller uh but first let's try to play a little bit more let's try to add these two variables in here and change the name uh lala okay yes just change it from here lala lalo um so now we have these two variables what i'm going to do is to copy this over here just to show you that it changed it's going to change the value gbl dot uh it was the real and um, w lana um, gbl dot 
config zero one just to show you that the variable that I'm going to change actually is going to have um, some influence on the code that you have okay so this is calling on the mask so what I'm going to do now is to connect with the controller hopefully I should be able to connect without any issue uh, LTA if I'm wrong with LTA also in this case <laughs> Bear with me. There we go. Okay, perfect. So the PLC now I connected with the controller. The PLC is in a stop. What I'm going to do is to put in run. It's running now. You can see here at the bottom. Now you can see here there are some variables already so let's say that i'm going to change the configuration so the p is going to be uh, 25.6 and this one's going to be 100. i'm going to write these values into the plc and i have these values over here okay so it's doing something i just write the information here so let's say that we have already finished the machine and I want to save those values just to have a backup of the actual configuration so what we need to do is to go online uh, debug stop the controller or just press this one over here you can see there in the bottom that the controller is in stop because you have this red message over here so if we go to do, 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 online advanced configuration save data uh, yeah this view so you have here what i got in the project okay so um i got the gbls the sr working everything is calling on the mast so i'm going to move to the other side pepito and config so i want to move this one and this one you can see in this part that is the name of the gbl and the two variables now i'm going to save this uh training uh for example uh, machine config okay this is going to be the configuration of the machine I'm going to save it okay it has been saved so let me just go over here the start training machine config so if we open this with a notepad uh no on this side and this so you can see here that I have the values of the machine. Uh, so I'm going to change this to 86.7 and this one to um, to to um, to six. I'm going to save this. Okay, so I have already modified this. Now, if we go to the machine, okay, now the machine I'm going to put in run, okay, which should be the normal procedure. Now, I have my backup file, okay, backup or the new configuration on this CSV file. So, what I need to do now is to, um, let me just put this in vertical chains. So, what I need to do is to basically stop the controller now. So, stop, go again to online, advanced configuration restore data okay and select the file that we want okay yes and you can see here they have the 262 and the 86.7 so now that i have the new values what i need to do is to um make the plc to run again so run and there we go the new values okay so this is how you can save the configuration that you have with your machine once you are connected you will need to put in a stop and then save the file and in case you want to save the new configuration to just modify the file and then restore it into the controller so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one